You're back once more with Arthur Mo T, and God has blessed me to share another moment with you on this Good Friday. And I just got to be truly, I'm just right now at this moment, I'm just truly blessed. And within in the blessing, you feel good. So I'm going to give you a little bit more. And I also want to say a special thank you to one of my subscribers saying that they love my videos and love to see more of the videos. And basically, I share with you what God allows me to share. So when I give you these videos, it's taken by the Heavenly Father. He fills me with his wisdom and he allows me and guides me what to say. So I only do the videos when I'm in that moment with the Heavenly Father, <clears throat> excuse me, and when he allows me to speak what I need to speak. So not only, <clears throat> pardon me, not only is it just raw, but it's just, a, it's a blessing. You know, it's no do-overs. It's you're capturing every moment from, excuse me, from even from a cough to where, you know, like I haven't shaved yet because, like I said, my day for me today begun very early because the moments with the Heavenly Father can be at any given time when he wants to present it himself and present to me. So I just follow God's lead. And one thing I, I will say, and let's talk about that now with people, while we're here on earth, you know, we're so busy hardening our hearts and not finding a way to forgive people. Forgiveness can be just one small step at a time. As long as we do it before time is up, because I will share this with you. What God has showed me is that his power of forgiving, he completely forgives. He doesn't hold on to any kind of grudges. And, you know, people are saying they're waiting, you know, well, I'll see God or I'll meet God on judgment day, after, you know, when I die. I got news for you. God may come to you while you're alive in presence right here on his earth. Will you be ready to sit down with him when he's calling you? for his purpose. See, God allows us to have more than second chances, second chances. He blesses us with the chance to do a new purpose for him. And I look at myself and said, you know, look at God. God has chose me to be his humble vessel. He looked beyond my faults he looked past my wrong do wrong doing doings. <laughs> Let me get that correct. Wrong doings, and he's blessed me. Not that I was doing you know any really dirty, evil, evil stuff, but even a person that had sinned, a great sin, God truly not only forgives but He washes it away. It's man that holds on to wrongdoings or false, they look at the other person, and God looks at our heart with a pure heart. God has a loving heart. He truly forgives us for our sins. Now, that's not to say we need to go out there and keep messing up because, like he said, repeated disobedience will not go unpunished. But he gives us a moment with him to be forgiven, to do right by the Heavenly Father. And that's what we need to do as not only just a nation, but people of God. Look at the sacrifice that Jesus, you're sure, made for us so that we won't have to suffer. And I got to share with you once again that peace that God and the kingdom offers, I got to tell you, when I went and began my moment, I never felt so much peace in my life. So much peace that even just talking about it is making me want to get emotional because that moment with God was truly a blessing for me. Why do you think I'm doing and taking every single day to serve him? God put an assignment on my heart to do his will. A simple task, but with great rewards. You've heard from Moti. God bless. Amen.